in Alaska. <laughs> it's kind of hitting me. Why am I here? I don't really know. I'm gonna set my intentions later. I'm treating this as like somewhat of a retreat, but also tomorrow we have our five hours daily. I think a short hike and then uh, game dev for three hours. The collision approach was not working, so we have a grid approach, very simple. When I click play, we generate a block at 0, 0, and 1, 1. It's that simple. Everything relies on being uniform, and then I'm just going to have the grid behind the scenes do the math. And then we just render a block based on that, I guess. Yes, this is precisely what I wanted to happen. Yes, of course, of course. It's the previous set of blocks being pushed by the same offset. Oh. It's drawing at the correct coordinates. So where are these extra ones coming from? found it okay this has been <clears throat> bugging me been looking at this for I don't know probably an hour and a bit today total I got the rotations working but there's this issue where the block would just jump randomly like that so if I go all the way this way boom it's all the way over there re implement that one two three four Why on earth? So, what you're saying is don't translate. Get parent dot draw moving block. Okay, that's not what we want. Okay, I I. Why on earth it did that? But quite frankly, I do not care to find out. The rotation is simple. We rotate once, uh, just with simple shit. And then we redraw, which was, the redrawing was triggering the multiple children thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. We're playing Tetris, boys. We're literally playing Tetris. There's weird inverted x and y's here because of the whole 2D matrix thing as a graph representation is confusing. Oh shit. Aha. Uh -huh. See, it's this. Yay. Oh my god, Tetris, baby. Oh no. Bad line clear. Oh my goodness, a four. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's it's kinda sick, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> So now, it's it's gimmicky because the game, oh look at that, game over, what do you know? And no errors. It is kind of, well, I shouldn't speak so soon. Uh, I, I don't know, I would blame two things at the moment and I think that is, um, actually, well first of all, finished and finished, let's go. Rotation, ah. Uh. <laughs> Cause it's just, it's slow to go left and right is part of the problem. Cause I don't know, the quote unquote fun, oh shit, um, part of Tetris. Yeah, see like that, what happened with that green block right there, slow it back for me, feature me. Tetris would allow you to slide it over, but right now the, the check is at the same rate as this. So if I did this and change it to 60, I can still move 
because it waited 60 frames, which is a full second in this case. I've been KO'd by food sickness yesterday and most of today, but tonight I wanted to just do something. I was like, I'm gonna just do the score thing and it took me, I guess I could give you a literal count, not even 12 minutes. Uh, let's just make it look like I'm actually good at the game, but surprisingly easy. Uh, game engines do a lot for you. <laughs> Uh, which makes sense. I think it's kind of nice because they take away the stuff that I wouldn't want to do anyway. Um, and they make it all accessible. Whoops! I still don't have the rotation collision handled. I only need to get those bottom three to prove my point, I guess you could say. Yeah. And we have 30. Cool. Well, the multiplier doesn't work. That's whatever. That's it. That's all I wanted. <laughs> and then I just need to fix the multiplier. Cool. Um, I just want to give a quick update. I'm clearly editing the video. <laughs> the simple internal Trello board has been uh, very nice. If you ever watched any of my old seashell ones, you'd know I tried to do a lot more complicated things. Some thoughts I wanted to go over real quick. A lot of stuff is done. Uh, I want to have a part two of this, even though it might be short. I've been really enjoying Godot. If anyone's interested in more of a walkthrough, I'd be happy to do more of that in part two. So drop a comment uh, if you're interested in more of like what I did. I did a, their intro courses, put a time loss of me, you know, doing that real quick. Um, the making your first 2D game, making your first 3D game, which was a nice to get my toes wet. And then you just kind of kind of jump into things. I kind of I get how the scene stuff is supposed to be laid out now. The game in the, you know, in the background is just this grid. And this is what all the, the operations are done on. We check for collision. You know, if there's a zero below this, then you move down. If it's not a zero, you know, don't move down, I guess. You know, when we rotate, uh, for those interested, each block is a matrix. Um, dimensions aren't too important because we're doing simple matrix transformations. We have an offset from the starting point. This is horribly organized code, in my opinion. For those interested more in the code as well, I'll leave it. A link to my github repository in the description we have this offset that just you know if you move down one you move over two this will be one two if you rotate the start and then move you have the same rotation as rotating and then moving or moving and rotating anyway same thing i you know it doesn't matter the order of those operations which is an assumption that i'm acting on so every time we draw a block we draw it at a certain offset but again all the rotation is we hold on to the current rotation of the block so zero one two three and we rotate it a certain number uh, counterclockwise right now is just three clockwise rotations because why not and then our score multiplier since i just ended on that note is done you get 10 points for every line cleared and then if for every extra line you get five times that um, another non-optimal bad practice thing i feel like i'm doing is every single piece is its own mesh uh, so as you can't see on the right i guess you can see it's it's orange and then we have another piece <laughs> It's blue! And then I'm literally just generating uh, the pieces individually. So when we spawn like a T piece, it's one block, two block, three block, four block. And Tetris is super basic, so I'm not worried about optimization. I just, I also couldn't figure out how to import the material separately and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I just made six different messages of, of different colors in Blender. <laughs> there's a little bit more I want to do, but I'm not gonna, you know, there's no need for perfection. That's not the goal of this project. I promise I'm good at this game, man, I swear. Another thing I also ended up doing was I can move this around several times. I can, right now I can do this infinitely. I, I don't care to make this timed right now, but that felt like a necessary part uh, of the game. I might go more into the, the code on that because it's more final, it's more fun and more entertaining to go over what I've done. I'm not gonna go and reorganize this, you know, these should be moving block controller i come from an object oriented background at least so i think they should be i find myself here for a third time <laughs> you did not just see 800 pending reviews so i use toggle to track all my time it's just something by habit now i think that transparency is important in other words i want to show you how long i worked on this so i have a project called tetris clone second to last week of 2023 i did 30 minutes um, and then I did a, an hour, I guess. This is probably the, yeah. So this is Dodge the Creeps. This is not even work on the Tetris game. The week after that, uh, when I should have had work, so I did an hour and 37 minutes of more Dodge the Creeps. This was before I left for Alaska. And on Friday and Saturday, I should have done work. I was in Alaska partially to do it. The first week of the year, I spent 11 hours and 57 minutes on Tetris development. Thursday, it was at night, and I didn't end up going to class because I was in the move. I remember that, but you know, if we see the, the breakdown, Go is just me being like, Mark, sit your ass down and just do it. 
small tweaks, and then all of a sudden, three and a half hours because I had to redo my whole system. Collision wasn't working. It was a necessary failure, and I, I want to say I knew it was bad going in, but figuring out, do I even have my notes still? You know, drawing out the different, like, not the math, but just kind of, I like to have a visual representation of things as I work. Cause I was like, oh, this was, you know, this is when I realized, oh, moving and rotating is the same as rotating and moving. This was going to a grid space. You know, how do I decide? Maybe it's a shorter time. I know how to program. <laughs> I don't know how to make Tetris. And that's one of the rough lessons I'm learning with game design is the most of this time is gonna be spent making assets, bringing them in, figuring out game engine stuff. You know, how do you solve a problem? And that's software engineering. You're not sitting there coding the whole time. You're sitting there and asking yourself, how do I solve this problem? That's it, but it's been a very good idea to do this in order to um, get my toe, my feet wet with Godot because you don't have to worry about the design of a game you know well. Pick something simple and just go for it. I'm gonna do another game where it's just one in the chamber. Minecraft game, mini game I'm very familiar with. I've coded all the logic in Minecraft terms. It's just gonna be more animations, actually building out the assets and stuff. Yeah, anyway, I hope to see you in the next Tetris devlog. Uh, second one to be out. It's either end of the month or second Saturday, uh, every second, or Sunday, sorry. Every second Sunday of the month, I'm having a dev vlog. Even if it's a short one like this where I don't record much, it's just gonna be there. It's gotta happen. Thoughts, comments, angry concerns below. Uh, I'm open to them all. Being free takes yourself. Anyway, I'll see you in part two. Peace.